Justin Trudeau travels to Africa to give away millions of Canadian taxpayer money, while 50% of First Nations children in Canada live in poverty. It's how corrupt all governments are. March 14th, 2020, take Manchester by storm. Justice for all. This is a justice for all demo. We need you there. We are fighting for the future of our children and our country. Listen to yourself. If your body is telling you to avoid certain foods and eat more fruits and veg veggies, do it. If your gut feeling is telling you to distance yourself from certain people and get closer to those who have a positive aura to them, do it. If your heart is telling you to travel, quit that job, start this project, spend more time in nature, take a break, read this book, be with that person, go for it. Your higher self knows what's best for you, so don't ignore the messages. Revelation of the Method the elites do tell us through their books and publications, movies and news releases what they are doing. This is called revelation of the method. If you are too stupid to recognise it for what it is, that it is your problem from their point of view, it is a form of ritual mocking of the victim. This is why they get away with it as well, because when you mention this to someone that doesn't know what's going on they'll go oh it's just a movie it's just a book it's just a tv show when actual fact it's them telling what they've got planned and if you think back to there was one in 2011 i think it was called pandemic or something like that they were telling us what they got planned for the future and now we're starting to see what it is a fake coronavirus engineered by them to try and destroy humanity as prince philip said when he dies, he wants to come back as a virus that wipes out humanity. This is them telling us what they've got planned for us. And unless we see it and start doing something about it, they just might get away with it. Central London speed limits to be cut to 20 mile an hour next week, Sadiq Khan confirms. The chaos this is going to cause is going to be immense. If you're in London... I feel for you because you're going to have nowhere to go and no time to get there. Roads in central London will see the new 20 mile an hour speed limits imposed as of next week. The Mayor of London has confirmed, the Mayor and traitor and Zionist piece of shit. Taking to Twitter to break the news, Sadiq Khan revealed roads operated by Transport for London within the congestion zone Ooh, that's a joke by itself. That currently have a 30 mile an hour limit. We'll see that drop to 20 mile an hour as Monday, March the 2nd. In the announcement, Khan tweeted, Happy to report that the speed limit across TfL roads in central London will reduce from 30 to 20 from Monday the 2nd of March. This new measure will save countless lives and it eradicate serious injuries on the roads, whilst making it safer to walk and cycle around in the capital. Lily Matson, TfL Chief Health, Safety and Environment Officer, added, Millions of walking and cyclist journeys are made across the city every single day and a person in, is five times less likely to be f fatally injured it, if hit at a 20 mile an hour than at 30 mile an hour. It's as straightforward as that. <clears throat> no, it's them trying to screw everyone that drives because that's been the plan all along. Let's stop them from travelling. We'll reduce the speed limits down. We'll put ramps everywhere. We'll put speed cameras everywhere. And we'll totally screw everyone. Mayor of London, he should be in bleeding jail. Ensuring that at the safety of Londoners and visitors in pa pa is paramount, which is why we are introducing a safer speed limit for all road users in central London. It's clear the new 20 mile an hour speed limits will not only save lives, but will also encourage Londoners to travel in more active and sustainable ways. Oh, there we go. The key word sustainable again. As soon as you hear that, you know it's a, 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 a UN Agenda 21 or UN Agenda 30 uh, usage. New signage will be placed imminently to highlight the speed limit changes. While plans to raise pedestrian crossings in... Prominent locations including near Embankment and Tower Hill Underground Station are underway. TfL says speeds 
is a factor in around 37% of collisions in London that result in death and serious injury. This will drive everyone in London mental and you're going to see a massive uh, increase in, in uh, road rage and, and that because people just can't be doing with this sort of shit. The move to 20 mile an hour speed limits is part of TfL's Vision Zero commitment to eliminate deaths and serious injuries for the transport network by 24 to 1. This is bullshit. This is what they're selling it to us at. With ambitions to reduce limits more widely across the capital over the next five years as well. Edmund King, president of motoring services firm the AA, said the AA view is that targeted 20 mile an hour speed uh, zones that have a, the support of the local community are welcome and can be effective. For example, drivers understand why speeds should be 20 mile an hour outside of school, playing fields and or a residential cul-de-sac. Albert Embankment, Lambeth Palace Road, Lambeth Bridge, Millbank, Victoria Embankment, Upper Thames Street, Lower Thames Street, Byward Street, Tower Hill, Borough High Street, Great Dover Street, and the list goes on. This will cause havoc and, well... If you're going to put up with them, then you're going to get what you deserve, I guess. Behind bars, Harvey Weinstein hires prison prepper to help him get ready for decades in jail. We'll see. Disgraced, Harvey Weinstein has hired a prison prepper to prepare him for decades in jail as at the notorious Rikers Island. The move was confirmed by Judah Engelmeyer, Weinstein's spokesman, although he declined to reveal the name of the prison assisted, assisting him, the prisoner. It's thought the consultant will help with the entire process from changing to sentencing to release, as well as assisting with out obtaining perks inside the and dealing with the inmates' families. Fees charged by consultants can range widely from just a few hundred dollars to around a hundred thousand uh, dollars. Of course, he'll pay loads in there to the inmates to keep him safe and live the life of Riley, of course. The infamous mo movie mogul faces a combined total of up to 29 years behind bars when he is due to be sentenced on March 11th after being found guilty of rape and sexual assault by a court on Monday. We'll see how long he really gets. Weinstein, 67, is currently under armed guard in a prison hospital after claiming he suffered from chest pains as he was being moved to Rikers Island. Utter bullshit and... Ugh. He is currently being treated in... Bellevue Hospital in Manhattan for raised blood pressure. Mr Engelmeyer told The Telegraph it was unclear when he would be released taken to jail. Guantanamo of New York. Convicted sexual predator Harvey Weinstein is set to be cased in New York's violent, plagued Rikers Island jail complex where he will await sentencing after a jury found him guilty of raping one woman and sexually assaulting another. Oh, you've got to feel no sympathy for him whatsoever, haven't you? Harvey Weinstein jail officials fear Jeffrey Epstein incident amid Rikers Island stint. Officials at the jail where Harvey Weinstein is expected to await sentencing reportedly fear they, they'll face with a Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein type of situation. Weinstein 67 was found guilty of sexual assault and rape of two women following a lengthy trial in New York this week and now faces up to 29 years, up to, so it could be oh, a suspended sentence. Shortly after the verdict was delivered, the Hollywood former Hollywood producer experienced chest pains and was taken to Bellevue Hospital where he currently remains. Bullshit. That is utter bullshit. This is him trying to fake his way out of jail. That's all that's going on here, folks. However, the judge presiding over the trial ordered Weinstein to await sentencing at Rikers Island, the notoriously violent jail which has housed some of the most high-profile and dangerous inmates. Now, high-ranking officials at New York City Department of Corrections have told TMZ that anxiety is running high over Weinstein's safety at the detention centre. Why? He's a rapist. He's a paedophile. According to the publication, a plan is being put in place to ensure that Weinstein has round-the-clock surveillance to avoid a de detrimental situation. But any other prisoner, yeah, well, screw them, they can get beaten up, stabbed, killed, murdered, raped. But because this one is actually a murdering, raping paedophile, we're going to provide him with protection. They cite the death of a convicted sex offender, allegedly, Death, that is. Jeffrey Epstein, who took his own life, allegedly, life while being t held on sex trafficking charges at New York's Metropolitan Correction Centre in August last year. Bullshit. 
banged up outrage as judge locks child in jail cell to teach her a lesson for misbehaving. Well, that judge should be in jail for the rest of his life. A judge has been caught on CCTV marching a young girl into Chicago jail cell after a sheriff's dep deputy refused her order to lock up the child. The child, who is believed to be related to Judge Jackie Portman Brown, was emotional after the Cook County Court judge scolded her for bad behaviour, then caged the terrified little girl in the holding cell for around 10 minutes. That is unlawful imprisonment and the judge needs jail time for that. The girl, who appeared to be around age seven, seven years old, was first brought into the adult courtroom by an unidentified woman known as to the justice. There, the judge scolded the, girl, the child and allegedly told her she should understand what happens to people who misbehave late in life and ordered her courtroom deputies to lock her up, but they refused. The pair of women then dragged the humiliated tot, seven-year-old, out of court, past the sheriff's workstation and into the holding cells. The sheriff should have arrested them both for mistreatment of a minor, a child. <clears throat> deputies are fil filmed looking on dumbfounded as the child is frog marched past them by the fully robed judge and into cells usually reserved for dangerous criminals. A deputy then slides the gate as a grumpy-looking Portman Brown walks out of the cage and locked the crying girl in her own. on her own. Portman Brown is later seen leaving for the day with the child and the woman out of the back door reserved for court staff. That judge should be in jail. This is what they do. They think they can get away with anything. And unfortunately, they have been until we stand up and start holding them to account for their crimes against humanity, they'll continue to get away with it. East Midlands School closes after confirmed coronavirus case. The school has around 350 pupils. What a load of bullshit, fear-mongering crap. Are we going to fall for this shit every time? A school in the East Midlands has closed after reports of a coro confirmed coronavirus came, case. Burbage Primary School in Buxton, Derbyshire, has told its parents that the school will be closed today for deep clean. Health chiefs have not confirmed the case, but head teacher Anthony Tyranny said that was the information he had received. In a message to parents last night, he wrote, Due to a confirmed case of coronavirus amongst our pa uh, parent population, Burbage Primary School will be closed tomorrow, Thursday 27th of February 2020, as a precautionary measure and to enable the deep clean to be completed and to put the shit fear into everybody they could possibly can because that's my job, he may have said. A Derbyshire County Council spokeswoman said the school is run by the local authority and they are currently investigating what has happened. She said, we are investigating reports and having for com confirmation from public health and re uh, will release information as soon as we can. Utter fear-mongering bullshit, the lot of it. Emmanuel Macron's outrage, Boris Johnson claim exposed. Emmanuel Macron launched a th thinly veiled but brutal attack against Boris Johnson during an anti-Brexit tirade unearthed reports reveal. Britain will begin preparation to leave the EU without a trade deal in just four months if Brussels does not agree to the UK's demands by then. In the UK's negotiating mandate published this morning, Boris Johnson made clear that if the broad outline of the deal is not agreed by June, the government will then switch its attention to exiting the transition period without one at the end of the year. So we're still not going to be out to the end of the year. That's what that says. The 30-page document, which follows the publication of the EU's mandate on Tuesday, puts huge pressure on Brussels to agree to Mr Johnson's vision for future trade. However, the bloc does not seem willing to compromise with EU chief negotiator Michael Barnier. Repeatedly warning he will not accept a deal at any price if it suspects the UK of planning to cut corners or standards and subsidises to gain unfair commercial advantage, just like the EU's done for all these past 40 odd years. To further complicate things, French President Emmanuel Macron also appears to determine to ensure the EU becomes a stronger union after Brexit. <laughs> 
on Saturday, the French leaders and traitor to the French people said he was not sure a trade deal was possible at, by the end of this year. So let's just keep it going for a little bit longer because we we got no intention of letting Britain ever actually really leave. He noted negotiations will be tense what with fishing rights, a key point of contention, because they like stealing from our seas and they're going to continue it every chance they can because we haven't left, as you just heard in their own publications, we, are, we haven't left at least till the end of the year and we won't have left then either. Sturgeon shame. SNP caught red-handed as defiant surges in Scottish independence battle. The SNP has been accused of being caught red-handed trying to sweep their economic failures under the rug after the country's deficit continued to surge as pressure mounts on Nicola Sturgeon over her demands for Scottish independence. Scotland's First Minister and, I suspect, a paedophile and a, a, a member of the paedophile gang and SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon has been left humiliated after the figures from the Scottish Government showed an independent country world would fail the European Union membership entrance test. The latest GDP quarterly and national accounts for Scotland shows the difference between and tax income and public spending has risen for 7% to 7.2% of GDP. The deficit remained relatively stable at 12.9 billion but the Scottish economy shrunk 3% from 180 billion to 175 billion meaning it actually grew in percentage terms they talk some utter bullshit don't you how can we confuse people more we'll just make up some bullshit hit it with a few percentage things and that'll screw them over so they don't know what's going on <clears throat> Trump says corona vaccine coming along rapidly appoints Pence to ha head task force now this is what i've been saying all along this is the vaccine they're going to use to try and wipe out the population and they're going to make it mandatory you mark my words as fear spreads of a possible coronavirus outbreak in the u.s president trump was addressing the nation in a wednesday evening news conference at the white house to discuss how his administration was handling the virus threat saying that a vaccine is being developed rapidly and coming along very well. Of course, we won't have time to test it, so we're just going to test it on everyone. Oh, and if you die, uh, just remember, you can't sue us because it's for your own good. However, Anthony Focke, Fawcy, who heads the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, <coughs> said later at the press conference that a vaccine would not be applicable to the epidemic for a year, uh, year to a year and a half <laughs> due to delays from testing yeah they don't they don't test vaccines so that's a lie <clears throat> development production and distribution the freewheeling and sometimes confusing press conference marked a rare appearance by the president in the james s brady press briefing room as he usually takes questions for from reporters outside the white house while his main one helicopter prepares for takeoff it's really nice to talk to you without the helicopter a reporter shouted at one, at one point as others laughed and applauded we'll do more of them trump said after some journalists asked him to come back to the briefing room in the future some of trump's targets remained the same despite the new setting in particular the president excoriated both the federal reserve and house of Sp speaker nancy pelosi d Calif. Uh, calling her incompetent after she challenged his response to the virus and said he couldn't be trusted on the matter. I think she's not thinking about the country instead of making a statement like that where I've been beating her routinely at everything. She should be uh, saying we, we should. All right. Now, for those that aren't aware, the Kesh Foundation has put a video out how you can make yourself a little device to kill the coronavirus. Now, YouTube has said it's against their terms to cure... Well, they didn't say this part, but I'm, this is what I'm adding. It's against their terms to cure anything that we've deliberately uh, worked on to kill humanity, so we've banned it because it breaches our terms and conditions. However, you can find it on um, BitChute, and um, I will pop in a link... On the screen here and in the description, if I re if I recall to uh, uh, at the end, so you can all find out how to make your own 
coronavirus destruction kit. It's very simple uh, and it uses a battery. So it's almost like a co colloidal silver generator, except, except this is using zinc. It's on BitChute if you want to look for it yourself because YouTube have banned it because they don't want us curing ourselves and ending this bullshit about coronavirus. NASA stops live transmission after realising a UFO docked on ISS. A video by NASA recently appeared on the internet and it features a UFO docked on the ISS. It seems as though NASA stopped the live feed on purpose when they realised what they were revealing. The images seem authentic, considering the docking position as well as the Earth rotating in the background. The relationship between the ISS and the mysterious craft is obvious, so we can deduce and estimate the size of the craft. And the video's there if you want to have a look at that yourself. Again, links as ever, usual are in the description. In order to remove any trace or doubt of anomaly produced by the camera, we can see that the UFO keeps its stationary position in accordance with the rotation of the Earth. Nonetheless, in spite of this evidence, NASA has not made any statement to neither confirm nor deny this incident. The only thing they did was to stop the transmission. Calls to end five-week wait for universal credit as de demand at frank food banks increase. The Trussell Trust is calling on the government to show the same level of commitment to tracking poverty as the British public. A charity which runs food banks across Nottingham is calling on the government to end the five-week wait for universal credit. The Trussell Trust charity supports a network of more than 12,000 food bank centres across the UK. The fact that we've even got food banks it sh is an utter disgrace. New figures released by the charity reveal the level of generosity from the public to food banks in the run-up to Christmas last year. Across these, these Midlands, 174.43 tonnes of food were donated in December 2019 compared with 147.16 tonnes the year before. Nottinghamshire accounted for 59.58 tonnes of the, these donations, up from 55.19 the previous year. The figures show the public was able to keep pace with the soaring need for donations and now the Trussell Trust is calling on the government to show the same level of commitment to tra tackling poverty. The charity says more people are struggling due to the low benefit incomes, benefit delays and changes to benefit being paid. While universal credit is not the only benefit payment people at food banks experience problems with, the charity has found one of the key issues that force people to food banks is the five-week wait for a first universal credit payment. Coordinator at Clifton NG11 Food Bank, Wendy White, says the switchboard from benefits to universal credit means people start off in debt or having nothing to live on. She added, when someone goes from one benefit to another, the money just stops through no fault of their own. We are seeing it more and more and so food banks are becoming the norm. Utterly disgraceful. This is government Britain for you. <clears throat> Damning verdict on DWP. British citizens are dying as a result of policies implemented by this government. A bullying lawyer acting for the Tory government at the inquest of Errol Graham tried to claim that the man who starved to death after the DWP cut off his benefits had taken menus and cut cartons near him when he was found. And why was the Tory Minister for Disabled People caught smirking when this case and others were discussed by MPs? This is a man who starved to death after the Tory-run DWP cut his benefits off. But the DWP lawyer insisted, and admitting the government's culpability in pushing a man to starvation, shouted at family members and a police officer during the inquest into his death. MPs in the House of Commons heard Debbie Abrahams say Errol's daughter-in-law, Alison, was, has been scathing, telling me of the anger she and her husband had to go through. Tory MP apologises as video of him exposing himself to woman in pub emerges. Call for MP to resign following release of footage.
See, the MPs are all corrupt and pedos by the looks of it. A newly appointed, well, what a shock, Conservative MP has apologised after a video emerged which shows him exposing himself to a woman in a pub. <coughs> James Grundy, the MP for Lee since December, is facing calls to resign following the release of the video. The footage captures Mr Grundy lowering his trousers and lifting his shirt and exposing his genitals, <coughs> as requested by woman heard in the video. The incident happened at the Ram's Head in Lowton in 2007, shortly before Mr Grundy became a Tory councillor, a job he'll, he held for 11 years. Mr Grundy told the Independent, I apologise for my actions and any offence caused. <coughs> and please don't stop me from the gravy train I'm on because I like having all the money and benefits of not having to account for anything. It is understood that all pe people present were under 18. Mr Grundy, so he's a pedo as well. Mr Grundy seemed aware of the potential for controversy and he can be heard in the video saying there is no way his face could be shown. According to LBC, after his and other videos were recorded, a member of the public forwarded them to headquarters of the Conservative Party. So they all knew about it and have still done nothing. They allegedly received no response and Mr Grundy went on to serve as a Tory councillor for Lurton before becoming an MP last year. Conservative sources said the party has not was not aware of the complaint, even though they've seen the video. Before his election, Mr Grundy's seat had been held by Labour since 1922. Shell Oil Corporation burning gas for months because they can't sell it. What? Rather than reduce the cost of it, they're burning it. This is what goes on in big corporations that we need to end the power that these big corporations seem to think they have. The Shell Oil Corporation is burning off large volumes of ethane because they can't sell it to their regulator customers, which is a part of the same property owned by ExxonMobil. The location is officially known as Moss Moran and is used by numerous oil and gas companies. Residents near the property where the ethane is burning are complaining of pollution, light and noise coming from the site. Residents were, ho were hoping that the burning would not only be ha happening for a short amount of time, but the ExxonMobil plant won't be operational again until next November. The plant is currently under the c a construction process that will cost at least £140 million and is expected to last through November until then. Shell intends to continue the fuel burning, insisting that they have nowhere to store it and no choice but to burn it. How about lowering the prices so people can then actually heat their homes? Oh no, we never thought of that because that would be good for humanity. And as a multinational corporation, we are here to try and destroy humanity, they may have said. According to BBC, a Shell 5 natural gas liquid spokesman said the ExxonMobil 5 ethylene plant is currently the primary customer for ethane supplied by the Shell 5 national ga gas liquids plant and proposes ethane into e ethylene. One ground flares are burning excess ethane as the 5 ethane plant is currently not available for receiving the ethane to process it into ethylene. We have taken measures within the North Sea Seagull supply system to help um, um, uh, and to manage the situation and actively exploring alternate ethane outlets during the temporary shutdown. However, the volume taken by the Fife ethylene plant is significant and any solution is likely to be for some volume rather than the fuel volume, the full volume of ethane. Uh, the Fife National Natural Gas Liquids plant producers, the statement added. The burns have been going on for months and making life horrible in but for the surrounding communities. And they, they said to that, we don't give a shit. However, the site has been a point of frustration for local and environmental activists for many years because this sort of activity is unfortunately extremely common. Residents have posted videos to social media showing how the vit fires from the plant light up the sky at night. Rather than cut the cost or give it away for free, they're burning it. Can we see the corruption?
the whole planet is under. Online retail giant Amazon removes any products mentioning coronavirus, including sanitising products that actually kill coronavirus on surfaces. Natural news. Online marketplace Amazon is removing from its website several products that claim to stop the spread of and even cure the new COVID-19 virus. In doing so, however, the retail giant may actually harm consumers by preventing them from being able to purchase sanitising products that really do kill the coronavirus on surfaces, such as door handles and elevator buttons. The decision came a week after the company's meeting with the World Health Organization, who, at Facebook's office at Melno Park, California. According to a report by CBN CNBC, Amazon, alongside other tech giants, discussed with the WHO several plans on how to stop the spread of misinformation about the novel coronavirus on their respective platforms. In other words, how can we stop people finding out cures? Like I mentioned, the... Uh, Cash Foundation have, g have given a cure and, and Facebook, uh, YouTube has banned it. According to Amazon, the pullout of items is part of a crackdown on a large number of sellers who have recently cropped up on the website, some of which are offering books that stoke fears about the virus, as well as vitamin C products that are being touted as cure for the new disease. Now, let's not forget, in China themselves, they are giving high doses uh, for seven days of VNC, uh, vitamin C direct into your system and they reckon that's wiping it out so this is more bullshit and this shows that Amazon is one of the evil corporations that is trying to destroy humanity among the other products being removed from Amazon online shelves are surgical face masks not that they work anyway. In a letter obtained by CNBC, Amazon told the mask sellers that it would remove its listing from the market because it made unapproved medical marketing claims. Yeah, that's what we're going to claim to remove it. The retail giant, however, also told sellers that it would consider re reinstating the flagged product listing online if the prohibited medical claims were removed from the product's description. Despite its crackdown, several products have seemingly escaped Amazon filters, including several disinfectant sprays and cleaners, which are advertised as being able to kill the COVID-19 virus. The larger truth, however, is that many of these products no doubt really do kill coronavirus on surfaces, but Amazon is prohibiting the public from being able to see this information. As of press time, major governing bodies like the CDC and WHO have not officially recognised any cleaning products, pills or wipes as effective against COVID-19, which has infected 80,998 and killed 2,763 in China alone, as reported by Natural News. Aside from the flagging it's of items that advertised as COVID-19 cures and treatments, Amazon is also taking precautionary measures to shield itself from possible supply chain interruptions, especially in preparation for its global Prime Day sales event, an event that saw the tech giant notching a record high in terms of sales in 2019. As I said, all major big corporations are there to destroy humanity. They're controlled by the evil that controls the planet, like the royals, the Catholic Church and all that sort of stuff. Freedom to pay. Cash is necessary, M millions couldn't live without it and a backup for everyone when online systems fail. But with banks and free-to-use ATMs disappearing at an alarming rate, we're concerned some people may be left behind. Help us protect cash as a payment option by signing the petition. Again, links in description. Let's get this up to 250,000 because a cashless society means they control everything you spend and every penny you have. And if they want to take money out of your bank account, they'll just take it. They won't need to ask you. That's why this cashless society is being pushed, so they can rob us all. Links in description. Go there. Register. Sign. Not register. Sign the petition. And let's get this stopped. The Times. Top sports events under threat from coronavirus. Oh, more bullshit then. Doubts over mass gatherings. Illness could spread for months. Uh, army prepares emergency action. You know what that means? That means martial law. Road and air plans at risk as Heathrow bid rejects. Rejected. 
Car emission findings. Fall in rough sleeping. Don't believe that. Sussex lose guard. Assassin repelled. Tax clamp down. United ease through. And that tax clamp down is another push for the cashless society. So they can just thieve the tax off you directly. And you've got nothing you can do about it. The tell lie graph. Major events in doubt as coronavirus fears grow. Festivals, sports fixtures and other large gatherings may face two-month ban. Now, let's not forget what we just heard about Amazon, barring all products that can keep you and kill off the virus. This is all fear. Project fear, this is. Focus shifts to other airports as judges block Heathrow plan. Woke Coke uses fuel rise in illegal drugs. Former students claim teacher abused them. Won't be surprised. The modern world makers it impossible to be perfectly virtuous. Ban mobiles in cl class, urges Williamson. NMC health staff say they haven't been paid. The Guardian. Project Fear in f fully ramped up here, as you can see. Coronavirus may be as damaging to global economy as 2008 crisis. Ah, oh, that's what they're using it to, to, to bring in the, to the... We know we're already in a worse position now than we were for the 2008 crisis. So they're going to blame the virus on the crash that they're about to use on us because everyone's starting to realise it's total bullshit. Outbreak could close schools for two months, says Chief Medical Officer. Uh, Project Fear. There is a... Still a good chance of avoiding pandemic. <clears throat> judge, may f judge me fairly plea of man who died after benefits courts. Starved to death by the state. Heathrow ruling held as a test case on Paris climate deal. Aye. Heathrow ruling throws mega projects into doubt. Government ignored pl pledges on climate, say judges. Hugh Bonneville. Forget about Europe. Go back to the British beach with pride. Uh, I w worked with Assange to release US-Iraq secrets. Extraditing him is bullying, masquerading as justice. Virus outbreak poses shutdown threat to Britain. Project Fear, that's what this is. UK Chief Medical Officer says schools may have to close for months and major sporting and cultural events are at risk. Coronavirus now has pandemic potential and is a de decisive point, warns World Health Organization. UK's top companies see 65 billion wiped off their values while US Dow Jones suffers its biggest ever fall. Crash on your way. Northern Ireland confirms first case of two more patients test positive in England. Warning that value of sterling could plummet. Huge, huge crowds expected in British for Greta Thunberg visit. Don't tell me there is anyone dumb enough to go and see that paid troll. There is no such thing as Corbynism, Rebecca Long Bailey. School farm, sowing the seeds for br a brighter future. <clears throat> Metro. She's the man. A tailor to genders. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Pushing that shit again. The 111 virus fear. Mm. Chaos as man with symptoms sent to busy hospital. Mm. Project fear, that's what they're going for. Project fear. Mirror. Canada, we won't pay any of Harry and Megan's security bill. Fears grow across the country. There you go, project fear. Virus panic. No, not at all. Three more Brits test positive as schools shut and FTSE 100 falls 125 billion. Oh, well, that's going to affect me. Uh, not at all. And I doubt it's going to affect any of you either. But it might affect those with all the stolen money. Shoppers in rush to buy hand gel. <laughs> Medicine, groceries and nappies. NHS wouldn't be able to treat weakest if the disease takes hold in UK. Project Fear. Daily Fail. Drugs, vile texts, rival claims of abuse. Who do you believe in the Johnny Depp courtroom drama? 
Well, the reason it, it, that I've heard that the reason he looks so shitty now is because he's not been able to get his adrenochrome. Uh, and you can see in one of his interviews on uh, one of the American TV shows where he admits he doesn't watch his movies because it's not him doing the acting. A demon takes control of his body and does the acting because he's useless. And you look for that, it's there, out, it was out there on YouTube unless they've banned that already. Host Nation pulls plug after revealing its paid royal security bill for months, leaving Britain to fund it. Canada, we won't protect Harry and Meghan. And neither should we. Express. Project Fear, right at the top there. Coronavirus. Three new cases in UK. 152 billion wiped off shares. Oh, dear. Oh, on a brighter note, though, £10 off at Iceland when you spend 40 or more in store. Woohoo! Britain will quit talks in June if Brussels insists on meddling with rules on trade. PM threatens EU plan play ball or it's no deal. Harry and Megan, Canada won't pay for security. Oh, no! Oh, who gives a shit? It's utter waste of paper. On a bright note, though, £10 off when you spend 40 at Iceland. <laughs> and that's only 50p, so it's probably worth that. But then again, it is such a shit sheet. TV bid after tragedy. Kyle, be back. Jez blasts bleats about the he, hell he's suffered. Oh, yes, poor you. Tequila jammer, whatever that means. A beer belly saved my life. FT. Project Fear. European and US stocks plunge into correction territory. Japan issued de facto order to close all schools for a month. Saudi Arabia halts entry of Muslim pilgrims to Holy City. Virus triggers worst run on market since the financial crisis. So, guess we're going to have the crash now. They're just, just letting you know the crash is about, they're about to unleash it on us. Appeal court blow to Heathrow's third runway hands Johnson a clear getaway. Downing Street issues Brexit trade talks ultimatum. Yeah, because we're not on the same side, really, because you know, we're, we're pretending we're against each other. But uh, when we meet, we secretly shake each other's hands and say, yeah, the dumb public, they believe we're actually against each other. They don't realise we're working to, for the destruction of humanity. <clears throat> and finally, caution, men at work. Women work all the time. They don't need to put up signs. Bike still for sale? Yes, it is. What's the lowest you'll go on it? Two mile per hour. Anything less than that and you'll tip off. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. What did the bold man exclaim when he received a comb for a present? Thanks, I'll never part with it. Why should the number 288 never be mentioned? Because it's too gross. What's the difference between a cat and a co comma? A cat has claws at the end of a pause. A comma is a pause at the end of a clause. <laughs> 